Alrighty guys, what's going on? Linky here, and in today's video, I am gonna rank all of the brand new Scarlet and Violet Pokemon that have been officially revealed in the run-up to Scarlet and Violet's release this Friday. We're gonna look at new evolutions, we're gonna look at new forms, we're gonna look at Paldean variants, we're gonna look at some rumored Don fan forms that were teased. We're gonna do it all today, so let's jump right into things. We are going to be ranking all of the Scarlet and Violet Pokemon to be revealed officially up to this point. I'll do a tier list after the games come out, going through all of the Pokemon that have been leaked. I mean, the games come out in two days, so we're going to have them all officially, quote unquote, pretty soon. But today, before the lead up, a nice chill, relaxing video. We got some good vibe music in the background. We got a list to rank, and I'm going to give all of my steaming hot takes in this tier list. Let's start right off the rip with the starter Pokemon of the Paldea region, Quaxley, Sprigatito, and Fuecoco. And we're going to go with my second favorite of the three first, and that is Fuecoco, the little fire apple crocodile. He is a very close runner up to being my starter choice in my first Let's Play of Violet, but he is going to lose out to Quaxley. Now, I don't think either of these designs are incredible. I just think they're all really solid. Solid. Foycoco is an A tier design. It's not S tier. It's not Mudkip and Turtwig level design of a starter Pokemon, but I absolutely love the little croc vibes and the fact that you look at him and you can imagine pretty much anything that he could evolve into. He could evolve into just a derpy looking crocodile or he could evolve into a monster dinosaur. The possibilities are endless with this design, so I think it's a really good starting point. Quaxley is on the same level as an A tier. It's the Pokemon that I'm picking for my adventure, but that doesn't mean that it's eons better in terms of design than Fuecoco. And if I wake up on the wrong side of the bed, I might decide Fuecoco looks better. These two are very close. I'm a big fan of both, and I'm just hoping Quaxley evolves into a massive duck. I mean, come on, a duck starter? I mean, it's perfect. Sprigatito! Uh, I thought it was going to be Fennekin. Fennekin is my favorite starter Pokemon from Generation 6, from X and Y, and Sprigatito has a lot of the same qualities as Fennekin, but I do not love it. I I don't love the green, uh, the shade of green they used. I don't love the pink eyes. I don't love its, its posture in this art either. It's a C-tier Pokemon. I'm not the biggest fan of it. I don't have much else to say. It's a grass cat. It's a, it's a pretty simple concept for a design. So for that reason, it is a C. Some of the other Pokemon that we got revealed first, Smoliv is another C. I have no interest in using Smoliv. I really have no interest in seeing it evolve. It feels to me like a Badoo copy. It has the same kind of shape and morphism as Badoo has, but it's just not done as well. So Smoliv goes in C. Palmy has grown on me. Palmy is definitely B. Palmy gives me like if you combined a Mincino and a Amolga into an electric type Pokemon, that feels like what Palmy would be. Uh, it's cute. It's, it's, it's a good enough Pikachu clone. Uh, there's nothing objectively wrong with its design. It's a very big, puffy, rodent-looking creature. Uh, it's cute. I would give it a B. I'm going to be interested to see if it just evolves into a bigger rodent or if its evolution, which I think is coming, it does something more interesting. Maybe puts it on two legs. Something like that. So Palmy is a B-tier Pokemon. Lechonk is C. I, I don't love it. I, <laughs> a lot of these early, I, I feel like the designs for these Pokemon got a lot better as the trailers came out. Some of these early Pokemon I wasn't the biggest fan of. Lechonk is just not very interesting as an early Pokemon. I think it'll evolve into something cool. I think that pig Pokemon generally have some creative designs from Game Freak, so I'm looking forward to see what Lechonk evolves into. But for the time being, in its base form, it's just a kind of a run-in-the-mill, a below-average C-tier Pokemon. Paldean Wooper. Is there anything else to be said? That's all you have to say. Wiglet is B-tier just because it's weird. It's not a regional variant. It's not a Diglet. It's a separate Pokemon. They've been really coy about talking about it, and it... it 
pumps up its design a little bit because of the strangeness of what it is. The fact that it looks so similar to Diglett, but also isn't. The fact that they've kind of leaned into that with its design philosophy is something I'm a big fan of. I think it's a fun talking point for the game, and I think it adds a little interesting wrinkle to what Pokemon evolution is, and not evolution from forms, but like real world evolution if you put it in the Pokemon world. So I think it's cool. I'm going to give it a B. Now, before we go any further, I just wanted to mention that the vast majority of you guys who are watching these videos and hopefully enjoying them aren't subscribed to the channel. Now, of course, subscribing is free and you can unsubscribe anytime. And if you do subscribe, be sure to turn that notification bell on so you never miss another upload. And check out the join tab, see if the perks interest you. And if you want to go the extra mile in supporting me, that is also always greatly appreciated. Next up, we have Cloth. Does this thing have a pre-evolution? <laughs> it's a B tier. Is it a B tier? I don't, I won't lie to everyone. I think I'm, I'm, I'm changing on the fly here. I don't love cloth. I don't love a lot of crab Pokemon. Corefish and Crawdont are probably the top tier. Generation three is what I grew up playing. So I'm, I'm partial to those Pokemon designs, but cloth is not very interesting. Cloth gives me strong Crabominable vibes. Crabominable, Crabominal. I can't pronounce that Pokemon to this day from sun and moon. So for that reason, it's just, it's not very inspiring. It's not very flattering to look at. I understand it's not meant to be flattering, but for that reason, Cloth is maybe one of the worst designs we've gotten to this point. Grievard is an A tier design and it's gonna evolve into a massive dog. It's just gonna be a big fluffy ghost type dog. I know it's coming. I'm so excited for it. I love its design. I love its big underbite. It's so derpy looking and it looks incredible and it runs around and looks very, they, they make it look like a dog in the game and it's perfect. It acts like a dog. It moves around like a dog. Its design is really nice. I love that they went for a flush white design with a little bit of gray added in. I think it's a really good design and I like how the candle looks on the top of its head. Just adding an inanimate object onto a Pokemon can sometimes run with some risks and I saw some people criticizing Grievard for that, but I think it works really well. There's a bunch of other Pokemon. We're not done. We're not close to done. The legendaries, Koridon and Miraidon. I am on record saying I love Miraidon. I think it's an excellent design. I love how sleek it looks. I don't love either of these Pokemon in their motorcycle forms, but in terms of their Terrar ter I heard their terrarian forms, their, their, their walking and moving around forms when you're not on their back, they're solid. Koridon and Maridon are both good designs, but I prefer Maridon to Koridon. I, I, Koridon is still a good design. I still like that it's a big like dinosaur ancient dragon, and I love the big horns that go down its back from its head. I think those look excellent, but this is where I would put them on a list. Grafii is cool. It's a cool looking Pokemon, and I would put it into an A tier because it's 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 unique, it's inventive. I like just how much personality the design itself has. It looks like a Pokemon that would run into a city and cause mass chaos. Uh, and for that reason, I really like it. I don't think it's a design that I would ever consider using on a team, but Grafii is a Pokemon that I absolutely think looks fun. It just looks fun and interesting and quirky, and that's why it is an A tier. Gimme Ghoul's two forms. I actually prefer this form to this form. I think it's a lot more interesting when it's holding around this big coin in comparison to the size of its body. I think that's the biggest reason this design appeals to me. This design also appeals to me because it looks really alien. It looks not like it should be from here, and maybe there is some lore talking about that. Maybe there's a reason it's going after human currency. Who knows? But Gimmigool is a really nice design, but I prefer it in this form. I prefer it in its solo form when it's not stuck in a chest. I know a lot of people like this just because it's so different. It's so out of the blue, but I, I think this form, it, it does a lot more for me in terms of its aesthetic appeal than the chest form does. Fido, Again, these early Pokemon, I'm, I just, I'm, Fido's fine. It's, it, it's descriptors are really disturbing. Like every time they talk about what Fido feels like, they talk about it being really wet. And I don't love that. 
it's a little it's a little gross so we're just we're just gonna stick them and see Farigaraf is an A tier design. It's a great evolution for Giraffe Rig. The fact that it is an evolution for Giraffe Rig is excellent. And I love the placement they did with its legs here. This is how a giraffe actually stands. And I just think they did such a good job capturing what the real world animal is and its inspiration for for Giraffe. For th so for that reason, it is an A tier design. Cyclozar. It's a B. It's fine. It looks, it's, it's, look at it. <laughs> They almost look like the same Pokemon. You have this part of its neck here. These are exactly the same, just different types of wheels. These Pokemon are very similar in terms of their appeal. And you can tell that there's something going on here, whether it's an evolution or just some sort of connection that isn't specifically an evolution. There's there's something happening. I did a video saying it wasn't legendary, but I'm open to that being changed. So Titan is awesome. It's it's a little too big. It's so close to being an S tier design for me, but it's just a little too bulky for my liking. I love everything else. I love the spikes. I love the whale fins. I love the tail. I love the coloring, but it's just a little too big for me to put it in that S tier. Armor Rouge, C tier, not interesting. Cerulege, S tier. That's all that needs to be said there. Bella Bolt, solid A tier Pokemon. Bellabolt is the type of Pokemon that I would use in a second playthrough. I love its typing. I love its design. I love, unlike Satitan, its girth <laughs> really works for Bellabolt in a way that Satitan I just don't think works as well. But I think Satitan's an overall stronger design. So for that reason, they're both in the A tier. These two, I don't know if their names have officially been revealed, so I'm not going to use them here. But from what we've seen, I adore what we can assume is the ancient form of Don Fan, and that's gonna go here. And this one's okay. It's a B tier design. I have to see it in action. I have to see its official art, but this is where I would place the two Don Fans up to this point. This design looks like it's gonna be excellent. And as someone who is playing through Pokemon Violet, I'm and is probably gonna end up with this Don Fan and might use it on my team. I'm really hoping that somebody, maybe it's someone in the audience or maybe it's a friend on Discord, who's playing through Scarlet. Can you please trade me one of these? Because I want to use one so bad. It's so cool looking. I love what they've done with Donphan. And Donphan is one of my favorite Pokemon, period. So the fact that we're getting new forms, it's excellent. We're eating this generation as Pokemon fans, especially fans of Generation 2 Mons. There are so many great ones at our disposal. And this is my list. This is my ranking of all the officially revealed Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Pokemon. Forms, new evolutions, uh, new Pokemon on their own, new legendaries, they're all here. What do you guys think of my list? Where would you place some of these Pokemon if you have differences? Do you agree that there's only one horrific design and that's cloth? Let me know down in the comments section below. And if you're excited for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet coming out in a couple days, leave a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel because we're going to be streaming Pokemon Violet all weekend, uploading first impressions videos, all of that. Eon Ticket stream will be happening Sunday. It is going to be an awesome weekend for the community. So with that being said, I've been Linky and we'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.